perhaps perhaps we um, we will I don't know all participate in the great resignation we quit our jobs and and are you guys with me on this plan we invest in Legos I had Legos as a kid I don't think I had the branded Lego sets but do you know when it comes to holding on to those Lego sets from years back year over year they increase about 11 percent annually those Lego sets I know I had I, I mean I had a lot of Legos um, I, again, I can't remember if I had any that were particularly of, of one theme or another. Um, and I just came back from Maine, you know, in that U-Haul with all of my childhood mm -hmm, belongings. Mm -hmm. um, and among them, a lot of Weebles. Oh, the Weebles wobble, weebles but they don't wobble, fall down. But they don't, don't fall down. down. I have the tree, yes. and I have the car wash, and I have a lot of great Fisher Price toys that are, are, are in really great shape, but I do not have Legos. And I don't know where they are. Well, And I'm thinking maybe. I, mean, I need to find out. You definitely need to because the prices of Lego sets from '87 to 2015, um, the average returns on these sets, ten yeah, to eleven. So, what did you pay higher. for them, and what would they be? Because some well, of those sets were. We got them for free in the cereal box, first of all. So. Some of them, some of them, you had to pay for them. <laughs> and I remember at one point, maybe a set back in the early '80s was maybe thirty dollars for a two hundred piece set or something. Um, and so, if that's increased year over year, you may have some Lego investments. We'd be interested in hearing from you if you're a Lego enthusiast and if you've benefited at all from from collecting them, having them, if you know of their of any particular value. And I guess because if people have them and they're holding on to them and don't want to give them up, those who do get a premium price for them. I mean, higher than gold. Higher than gold, the Legos. Unbelievable. Um,